Welcome back to Mini Mayhem. I'm Ostrich Vox, and with the Star vs. the Force of Evil finale, one of the lingering questions is, where the heck did Mina Lovefairy go? After being left hanging in the realm of magic, being trampled by the Dark Mohors as Solaria minded her own business, Mina was shown to survive the final confrontation, although very weakened after being siphoned from magic, no longer being a Solarian warrior, which is what kept her alive all of these years. Mina is as good as ill, physically and mentally. After a monster rightfully shoots at Mina, she remarks, it's so easy to kill me, but the thing is, I have good ideas, so I'll never really be gone. Which is a scary yet very true sentiment. As long as there are people out there who agree with Mina's views, she can never really be killed, her ideology will linger, and thus, Star may always have one final force of evil, an evil that's a bit tricky to defeat. After making this somewhat awkward speech, Mina runs off into the woods of Manfred, so even though the show itself has concluded, it's clear there's still more story to tell with Mina Loveberry. So what's in store for the future of this character? Well again, in the chance we get a continuation in the form of a TV movie, or maybe graphic novels, another book, I think we can figure out the next logical step for Mina's end goal of monster genocide. Just because magic is out doesn't mean resources as a whole are out of the picture, leaving Mina to lean more into the sci-fi elements of the world. The Solarian warrior within Mina did not die alongside the magic, and even though she's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, I do not doubt Mina's ability to find assistance from those who are more capable and intelligent than she is in her current state. Namely, humans who are having a rather rough adjustment period to Muni and Earth being cleaved together. At the end of Cleaved, we see a lot of Eggo Creek citizens distressed, as they're suddenly caught in their own Muni mayhem, encountering monsters much different and larger than they are, and thus, more destructive. Because of this, I can imagine there being humans who don't want to adjust, they don't want to change, and they can deal with humans, especially because now, the humans are no different than the humans entirely, but the monsters, oh, they have to go. And now that they're exposed to Mini's technology, they're now able to develop some pretty sinister weapons. I mean, just look at Rich Pigeon's legs, or Ponyhead's artificial horn. The series has already lent into sci-fi plenty of times instead of just pure strict magic. With these weapons now at the human's disposal, if they desire, things could get pretty ugly pretty fast. And I think this is exactly what Mina is anticipating. Angry humans who feel out of water, who had pretty much every aspect of their life drastically changed without their own permission. They didn't know what was happening, just one day poof, everything changed. And granted, Star and Marco had no idea what was going to happen either, but I imagine anyone prejudiced against monsters wouldn't really care for the how or the why Star and Marco did this. All they would know is these two are the source, putting a target on pretty much everyone's head. If they can't get Star and Marco, well, their family will do. And how well can our characters fare without magic? Granted, we know Marco is a pretty skilled fighter, so he could hold his own, but what about Star? We can assume Tom may still have all of his demon abilities, as that's probably not magic, but just natural born evolution for demons, but who's to say for sure? Ultimately, Mina Loveberry has the chops and energy to lead a rebellion. So while we're shown a happily ever after, I think what Father Time's head and beach day still applies. The hardest times still lie ahead for Star. Things won't be picture perfect just yet. But as always, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think? Where do you see the direction of Mina's character? Will she just be aimlessly walking in the forest, unable to gather new recruits? Or would she actually be successful in an inevitable rebellion? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts at RoundtableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Ostrich Fox. We're also on Instagram. Help the Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of this channel, or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please throw a like, and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Fox, signing out.